Today I'm going to show you guys some easy transitions that will add so much momentum to your music videos. Let's get started. So opened up inside of Premiere Pro here, we have the Cardi 2024 music video, which I think is the perfect base to add more momentum. It's very bland, lots of bland shots. It is fire. That's what makes it cool. It's just showing off Cardi in a very bland environment letting his aura, oh my god, um, seep through the screen, sorry, I'm kidding. Anyways, um, to add some momentum to this video, there are a lot of simple ways that you can do it inside of Premiere Pro here that I'm going to be showing you guys today. Now, before we hop into this video, the pre-order for Fast Effects is now available, and I've given you guys a crazy deal. If you add Fast Effects to your cart, you can add two other editing packs to your cart that are under $40, and you'll get those two editing packs for completely free. So if I add Fast Effects to my cart and then decide to add opium looks and CRT textures, I'll get CRT textures and opium looks for completely free at checkout. You guys don't want to miss out on this deal as it's not lasting forever. Go down below and pre-order Fast Effects today. But to start off, we have my brand new plugin here in the bottom left. But basically to add some momentum using this plugin, I'll show you guys the plugin method and then I'll show you guys some other methods afterwards. We're going to go ahead and select these blue frames here. We're going to go ahead and click some layers that are open. So let's say we want our video effects on this layer right here. We want our audio effects on this layer right here. All we're going to do now is put our playhead where we want the transition to happen. Now let's go over to wipes for example we'll do a crazy wipe and we'll just double click it here and where our playhead is our wipe will load in just like that the first one always takes a little bit we have this little transition before and after and you guys can fully customize everything here the intensity the directional blur the flash the motion blur and once you change all that you can name it like your own preset and then hit this button here to save it into your fast effects and you can add a bunch of different hits as well there's a bunch of transitions you have crt grainy black and white, night vision, shakes, thermals, all of that. And let's say we want to add like a soft hit. We just hit the check mark with our area selected and we'll add a hit right there. Now using these buttons here, we can make it slower, faster, or like medium pace. That's going to be the amount of frames. So fast is four frames, medium is six frames, and slow is eight frames. Let's say we do fast here. And all of these are fully customizable as well. So with that being said, you guys can go ahead and pre-order Fast Effects down below, but let's hop into a couple other transitions that you can use to add momentum on your videos here. So right here between these two clips, what we could do is right click, create a new item, and then create an adjustment layer. We're going to hit OK, and I'm going to go ahead and drag this inside of here. Now we're going to be making some hit transitions, some flicker transitions, all the above. I'm just going to duplicate those and turn them off because we'll use them later. Let's start off with a little flicker transition here. So we're going to search up Lometri uh, color. Drag and drop this onto our adjustment layer. Go over to effect controls, open up basic correction. And pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to go to the very first frame here and we're going to keyframe exposure and we're going to make it seven. Then we're going to go to the next frame and we're going to make it uh, zero. Then we're going to the next frame and we're going to make it seven. Then we're going to go to the next frame and we're going to make it negative three. And then we're going to go to the next frame and we're going to make it like four. And then we'll do like negative two. And then we'll make the last frame a seven here, which I'm going to copy, go to the very end and then paste. You guys see we have a nice little flicker transition here. So I'm going to save this for later. You could use that wherever, let's say. The beat hits right here. We could see it on the audio waves or we can listen right here. We could add this right here. Really adds a lot of effects, especially if we do what we're going to do to these two here. Now, we're going to go ahead and put one right here. And on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to add a transform effect. Drag and drop that on here. Go over to effect controls and we're going to turn up scale and position. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to scale into 105. And we're going to go one frame in and move it like take the scale and we're going to move it to the side. We're going to keyframe the anchor point at the beginning as well. And we're going to go one frame in, click on it, and we're going to move this up here. Go another frame in and move it over here. Basically, we're going to be creating a shake effect by moving this around every couple of frames. You guys can see we get a little shake there. And if you pair that with like the flush. And you can make those shakes more intense with the amount you move around. Another trick as well is if we take this adjustment layer here and let's say we do like the exact same effect that we did on the shake one. So I'll go ahead and paste that inside of here. You can then play with the intensity of each keyframe by like zooming in a bit and zooming out. You can create a little shake effect doing that. 
you can even make these transitions right here. Now, if you guys have the fast effects pack right here, all you actually have to do is just click the check mark. And you'll have transitions just like that super easily. Go ahead and make an intense hit with flicker. Or a soft hit with flashes fire. Right where the beat hits. So fire, guys. And that's a super easy and simple way that you guys can add a little bit more momentum to your music videos. If you guys enjoyed this and want to see more simple tutorials just like this, make sure to hit subscribe because I'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.